Let's try to solve this exponential equation. It is 5 to the power of x plus 2 minus 5 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 2500. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can write 5 to the power of x plus 2 as product of 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of x. So we'll write this as 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of x. Minus, similarly to the power of 1, we'll write 5 to the power of 1, I need not write 1 here, times 5 to the power of x, right, equals to 2500. So we can write like this. Now, let us substitute some variable for 5 to the power of x. So we say let 5 to the power of x equals to let us say some number n. In that case, the equation becomes 5 squared is 25, so we have 25n minus 5n equals to 2500, correct? Now, we can divide by 5 and it's kind of simplify this equation, right? Right, so that's what we will do. So, so 25 minus 5n is 20n. So we have 20n equals to 2500, right? And therefore n can be written as equals to 2500 divided by 20, correct? So that means 250 divided by 2. So that means 125, 125, right? Now, we know what is n. n is 5 to the power of x. So we can write 5 to the power of x as 125, right? So we say 5 to the power of x equals to 125. Why? Because n is 5 to the power of x, correct? Now from here, so what power of x, 5, what power of 5 will give you 25? It is 3, right? Since we know that 5 to the power of 3 is 125, is that okay? Therefore, we say x is equals to, okay, 5 to the power of 3 is 125. So, we say x equals to 3, correct? So, that means we get our answer, x equals to 3, okay? So, you can write why it is so, because 125 equals to, 5 times 5 times 5, right? 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125, right? So we also know, so we know 5 to the power of x is 125, and we also know that 5 to the power of 3 is 125. Therefore, x equals to 3, right? Therefore, the solution is x equals to 3, correct? That's how you have to solve these kinds of equations. This kind of a linear equation, do you see? after substitution right and there are some more examples here where the equation actually gets converted to a quadratic form right so do those examples also uh, to understand different types of ex exponential equations which you may need to know and understand to do all the problems in this chapter i hope you understand thanks